Hi, I'm Mr. Power. I'm a chemistry teacher at St Ninian's High School. So, Mr. Power, why did you want to become a mental health first aider? I wanted to become a mental health first aider because, like so many people, um, I realised that it's such an important issue in society. And I think either on a personal level or through friends and family, we're all affected in some way. And being a teacher, I always wanted to do the best by your pupils. So I wanted to, to get the training to help the pupils. So what does being a mental health first aider entail? It entails, um, together with 15 other teachers in the whole school, um, setting up workshops and setting up um, spaces where we can listen and maybe talk to pupils if they've got um, some issues that they want to discuss with us. Hi there, I'm Miss Lecky. I'm one of the geography teachers here at St Ninian's. So Miss, why did you want to become a mental health first aider? I think as a teacher it is um, very important to look after or to, um, to nurture all of, the, um, all of our young people and um, this opportunity for, um, for training was, was really um, important to me. So for you, what does uh, being a mental health first aider entail? Um, very similar to being any other kind of, of first aider, we um, would be the, the, the first port of call um, for young people who possibly feel overwhelmed or who aren't very sure how to even start the conversation to say that they are not okay. Hi there, um, my name is Miss Duncan, um, I'm a Principal Teacher of Pupil Support within St Ninians and a Modern Studies teacher. Um, what is your role within St Ninians? Um, my role is to look after the young people within St Ninians, but most importantly to oversee um, mental health and wellbeing. Do you think mental health awareness should be confined to one day only? So Thursday the 10th of October um, is Mental Health Day and we will be doing a number of activities throughout the day. Um, we'll be selling green ribbons and the Pupil Committee for Mental Health will be doing a number of things. However, within St Ninians, we feel it's important that we provide support for people all year round and, and, and obviously the, the focus is that they, pro they are provided with individualised support and a number of um, different support groups are available in the school which hopefully will be displayed throughout this video. Hi, I'm Nick McManus. What is the role of a mental health ambassador within St Ninian's High School? Uh, so I'm one of the mental health ambassadors for PMA which is um, a new committee that we've just started, so I'm heavily involved in that. Um, basically all we're doing is kind of trying to improve the welfare, like the mental health and well-being of every people in the school, make sure people know that they have someone to talk to, they have a safe place and make sure everyone's voice is heard is kind of the aim of the group and to spread awareness of mental health in general, like for example today um, is Mental Health Day and we set up a stall um, just basically, you know, kind of telling people a kind of gist of what we're going to be doing. For example, we're going to be doing drop-in sessions uh, on a Monday. So Monday lunchtime will be staff. Uh, they've not kind of set up a room yet, but we will be doing so. And uh, Wednesday lunchtime, PLC 2 is going to be pupils. So it'll probably be two of the mental health ambassadors at a time. We're also in collaboration with the mental health first aiders who are teachers and have been around, there's an in-school counsellor as well. So we are taking steps to kind of improve it, but it is a gradual thing, like it can't happen overnight. No one's going to get better overnight anyway, but um, really it's just seeing what we can do to help. We will be going around PSHG classes as well, um, we're kind of thinking of a suggestion box type idea. So, but it will be in a sense where it's really anonymous, so no one feels like they have to say anything, have to do anything, they don't have to contribute if they don't want to, but if they do, they don't feel judged in any way, shape or form, and it's just so we can take the ideas collectively of pupils and see maybe where the school could improve on, what the school's doing so far that's good, and what they really want to see from us, because it can't just come from a group of eight pupils and a teacher, it has to come from everyone in the school making a collaborative effort to improve the school community as a whole.